Hey, you are seriously gonna wanna make this recipe. I'm serious, I'm not kidding you. It is just that good. Hello, my name is Karina, and I have a recipe. We tried this recipe from Taste of Home. It's another one, I can't help it. We really love Taste of Home. <laughs> um, but we had tried this last year for St. Patrick's Day, and it was fantastic. It was so good that the boys have asked me to make it throughout the year, but I just really haven't. Um, but I'm making it again for this St. Patrick's Day, but you do not have to make it for St. Patrick's Day. You can make it any time of the year because you make it into sandwiches. You can have it warm for dinner with like potatoes and salad and vegetables, and then you can have leftovers for sandwiches for the whole entire week, and oh my goodness, is it ever good. Oh, it's very flavorful. This one takes four days of preparation and on the fifth day you bake it. But the preparation part isn't much at all. It's no more than just doing something in the morning or throughout the day a little bit here and there. It's up to, you could totally do it when you get out of work and you come home or you can do it in the morning before you go or leave. It's easy, it really is. This is called Irish Spiced Beef. And let me show you the process and how it's done. Okay, for the first day to make this Irish spice beef, I have a five pound beef brisket. I'm going to use a two gallon freezer bag that zips shut and a third cup of brown sugar. And then I have a roasting pan. I'm going to take it and set it inside the roasting pan inside the freezer bag. Okay, let me show you our first step. Okay, my um, beef is just a little bit, no, it's not a little bit, it's a lot frozen. But I figure it can thaw out while I do this. Last year I remembered to thaw it out and this year I did not, so. Um, Okay, you're gonna take that sugar and you're just gonna use it as a rub. So it's the third cup of sugar and you're gonna rub this meat with brown sugar and I'm gonna pack it on and then I'm gonna put it inside the bag. It's better if you use this like a sugar scrub. <laughs> you use those sugar scrubs in the shower sometimes. Look at that. That reminds me of sand when you're out doing like sand castles. <laughs> okay, I'm going to rub this side. I'm going to rub all the sides of it. And I'm going to get all this brown sugar in here on this meat. Let me rinse off my hands. Okay, I'm, I'm opening the two gallon zipper bag. I'm gonna put this beef right into it. Throw this away. Okay, we're gonna close this up and we are going to let this beef set in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Get my pan. really nice. Okay, we're going to let that sugar do its thing. The recipe calls for me to cover it, so I went ahead and put um, Reynolds Wrap aluminum foil over the top of it, and it's still in that bag like I showed you, but I covered it with aluminum foil. It is about 9 o'clock in the morning, and so I will see you here tomorrow morning around 9 o'clock, and we will add more ingredients to this spiced Irish beef. Okay, it is a little after nine in the morning, so let's start the next part of making this Irish spiced beef. Okay, these are the spices that you are going to need for this part of the Irish spiced beef. You need two teaspoons of dried rosemary, two teaspoons of dried thyme, 
one and a half teaspoon of ground cloves and one and a half teaspoon of ground allspice, four bay leaves crushed, three fourths cup of coarse sea salt, three teaspoons of pepper, and a fourth cup of chopped onion. Okay, I'm gonna get mixing the stuff in the bowl and I will show you when we're ready to rub it on the beef. Okay, I mixed up all the seasonings and you add the onions right to it. So, and it makes a rub. So now we're gonna rub this all over that meat like we did the brown sugar. I got the meat out of the refrigerator. It's been sitting in there for a little over 24 hours. So let's cover that. Oh, you can see where the sugar is starting to caramelize, making a sauce on the top of it. I'm gonna grab something to put this on to rub this. All right, I put wax paper down so that the rub and stuff doesn't get all over my countertops. I don't want the, you know, meat juices all over the countertops, none of that. So the meat is thawing out pretty good. Okay, so we are going to just put this all over and I'm going to rub it in to all sides of the meat. This smells, the spices and stuff smell so good to this. Irish spice, spiced beef, oh my goodness. At first you're like, ooh, I'm not sure about it. It's kind of, you know, because it has all spice and stuff in it. And you're just, it's kind of a funky smell and you don't put it with beef. But man, this stuff is really good. I'm gonna add these into the bag, the onions and the things that are falling. I'm gonna put those in the bag so it soaks up good. That salt is gonna tenderize, look at that salt. It's going to tenderize that meat. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, turned it over. Do the same on this side. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be bleaching these countertops down. Definitely. You can see, like, the brown coating that it's put on under the salt. Okay, now do the cut part here. Want it all flavored up. Nice and yummy. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my hands. I'm going to add it to the bag and then I'm going to put all this stuff in the bag with it. Okay, I have the beef back in the bag, letting all the air out. I'm going to zip it back up. You don't have to put it in a bag if you don't want to. This is something I've chosen to do because I want to use this pan to cook it in. Okay, we're going to set it. Look at that. There's a lot of brown on that from those seasonings. Oh my, it's going to be so good. Okay, we are going to cover this again with the aluminum foil and put it back in the refrigerator until tomorrow morning. Okay, it is day three. And what we are going to do is you take this out of the refrigerator. Okay, and it's been setting in those seasonings this whole time. And you're going to rub the seasonings into the meat all over on both sides. And then you're going to set it back into the refrigerator. Okay, I'm going to flip the bag over. I'm not getting any juices anywhere. Rub it on even the front part and everything. You can see the seasonings all over my hands. So, Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and um, I'll be right back. Okay, I washed my hands with antibacterial soap. Gross, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to close this bag back up. I'm going to leave it on the flip side now because I flipped it over when I um, rubbed the um, seasonings back into the meat. Uh, so I'm going to leave it on here and let it soak in the next day on the opposite side. Tuck this in. Bring my pan over. Put it back in my pan. You're going to cover it back up. 
and you are going to, you can hear my dishwasher running. <laughs> um, and you are going to leave this covered again in the refrigerator until the next day, the following day. So I will see you back here tomorrow. Okay, this is day four. So this has been sitting in here. This is the last day to do this with this beef. Tomorrow we are putting more together and we're going to cook it. So okay, I'm going to do what I did, the same thing that I did yesterday. You just rub the seasonings all over it again. I'm going to flip it again. Oh, you can see the juices in there. Oh my goodness, it smells fantastic. And it's... um sticky from the sugar from the brown sugar you can feel the stickiness when I open the bag that's funny okay so I'm just gonna make sure you can see it look can you see all that stuff in there oh yum so you just rub rub all over again rub the sides rub the front because you really want to get that seasoning in this oh I made a mess I'm gonna have to wipe that up with a bleach wipe Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, I'm going to zip the bag closed for the last time. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, this the scent of this, the seasonings together is mouth-watering. It is so good. Make sure that bag is closed, it didn't zip. Okay. Put it back in the pan and cover it again and then stick it right back into the refrigerator just like we have been doing this week and then i will see you back here tomorrow to finish off this irish spiced beef okay this is our final day and this is the day that we cook it so this is day five today it calls for four medium carrots, but I have three and they're pretty large carrots. So I just grabbed three because they're big. And then it calls for two celery ribs. It says to use four medium onions, but these onions are pretty large, so I'm just gonna use two onions. And two cups of stout or beef broth, and I'm gonna use beef broth. So, okay, let's get started. All right, I am, I have the pan right by the garbage can is right here because I'm gonna discard all that stuff. But I just took this out of the pan. I'm going to wipe this out and I'm going to spray it with nonstick cooking spray. Okay, after I sprayed the pan, I'm gonna set that rack um, back into it, the roasting rack. You're going to take your beef out of this bag. You're going to place it right into this pan. And then you're going to throw away all of the stuff that was in the bag. There's my oven. Make sure you heat your oven to 325. Okay, next I'm going to start adding vegetables. It says to slice the onions, so that's what I'm gonna do. All of these vegetables, you end up throwing away. They are just being used to help flavor the spiced beef just a little bit more. So I am going to continue to do this. I'm gonna put these in rings and I'm gonna pop them in the pan. Okay, the carrots, it doesn't even say to peel them because, I mean, you're not eating them anyway, so I'm just, leaving them it says to slice them I'm just leaving them in bigger chunks and I'm gonna pop them into the pan I did wash the carrots and last year when we had this we actually Jay and Tim tried the vegetables and they said it they were way too salty because we just wanted to see what happened with the vegetables I guess is what well not we Jason he was real curious about it so, um, yeah, this year I'm just going to throw them away because you don't need them. This makes an excellent beef. Okay, it just says to slice the celery ribs. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in big chunks and add those to it. Okay, 
we are going to add the beef broth that calls for two cups of beef broth or stout. Never tried it with the stout. If you try it, let me know what you think of it. Okay, and you pour that over everything. Now you're going to add water until it comes up halfway on the beef brisket. That took about almost three cups of water, but not quite in my pan. Okay, you're going to cover it with aluminum foil, unless you have a cover. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven on 325 for four to four and a half hours. I'll show you the next step as soon as it's done. Okay, it is fresh out of the oven and the juices are just a bubbling around it. But we checked it with a meat thermometer and it's ready and this one took about four hours. So, oh, it smells fantastic. I'll show you when we cut into it. Okay, you are supposed to let this set for an hour. Um, and then the instructions tell you to put it in the refrigerator and then you're supposed to eat it the next day on sandwiches. But we don't do that. We actually cut it after it comes out of the oven and then we eat it warm the first day. And then we put it in the refrigerator and eat it on sandwiches. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell how wonderful this smells. Okay, and then um, tomorrow when we do make sandwiches out of it, we are going to eat it on homemade bread, but it says that you are supposed to eat it on rye, but I just haven't grabbed rye bread yet. And then this is the mustard that we use on our sandwiches. Or you can use regular mustard, really, so. Thank you so much for joining me on this fun little cooking journey this week. And the recipe is below, so grab it if you make it. Oh my goodness, I would love for you to go on my Instagram. That's linked below, and I'll put it right here on the screen. And hashtag your picture of the Irish Spice Beef with life little things. I would love to see it and make up a little community on Instagram for all of us to see each other's pictures. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.